came to order and uh, would appreciate a motion to approve the agenda. So move. Second. For a second. Okay, and uh, we have, uh, Ryan, you want to take roll before we vote? Uh, yes. Uh, Hardman. Here. Here. And then, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Trevelyan. Here. Michelson. Present. Okay, uh, Sandager, so are you on the line? Okay, I think we just have the three present. Okay, so all in favor of approving the agenda, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, the, uh, the agenda is approved. <laughs> Item 3A, new business, local option, sales tax, and service tax referendum in Polk County City initiated. It's a resolution submitting the question, the imposition of a local option, sales tax, and service tax and revenue allocation statement. Um, a little bit of background. In November of 2016, uh, the local option sales tax was passed in the Dallas County portion of West Des Moines, I believe with about a 61% approval. And that tax actually went into effect July 1st of 2017. So the sales tax currently in the city of West Des Moines and Dallas County is a penny higher than it is in Polk County. Uh, essentially, the same language was used in Dallas County as was used in Polk County for the March 2017 election, which actually passed in the city of West Des Moines, but wasn't implemented because of the contiguous city requirements. So through the last uh, legislative session, the, the contiguous city requirement was removed. So now the residents of the city of West Des Moines uh, can make that decision on their own. Uh, we have visited about this a lot over the last three years. Uh, um, and I think essentially you can see the revenue statement, but essentially it would be a, an 8% reduction in West Des Moines property taxes and allow a significant amount of money for quality life issues along with additional public safety funding and uh, support for the library. Uh, so I might get a motion and a second on the resolution and see if any council members have any comments before I ask for a vote. I'll move. I'll move. Second. All right. Any uh, questions or comments about the resolution from any of the council members? Uh, yeah, I've got a uh, comment. <clears throat> um, at the last uh, city council meeting, under other matters, we had um, several people come forward talking against putting this on a special ballot. I also have had uh, several conversations with various people around the city that are not in favor of putting this on a special ballot. They think it needs to go. Um, on the November ballot. Um, and although I'm not opposed to putting this on the ballot, um, I have been rep elected to represent the people uh, of West Des Moines. And so I am going to be listening to what those people have, are telling me because I have not heard from one person that's urging me to vote for this for a special election. So um, I can't support putting it on a special ballot when uh, the people that have elected me are telling me, let's just wait and put it in on in November. Um, they feel that's the most fair way of doing it. It's cost savings. Um, I believe uh, that it's, I've been told by Ryan, that it's somewhere around $10,000 to put this on a special oh, yes, ballot. Yeah. Um, and again, the, the residents are saying, why would we spend money when we've got a, another election coming up in November? So I'm not going to be able to support this. I think one of the responses to that is <clears throat> I think we'd like to know when our budget goes into effect, because I think the tax are going to go into effect July 1st of 19 and so it would rely it would allow us to to imp impose a, a 74 cent reduction in the property tax rate effective july 1 starting july 1 of 17 and would allow us to make significant changes to the budget and quality of life and public safety funding so i think part of the response is is that it's important to know whether or not the western residents want this additional property tax relief and revenue as a part of this next budget and I appreciate that, Mayor, but again, as, as the people that were here at the, the council meeting two weeks, almost two weeks ago, and then um, those that have contacted me personally, um, <coughs> they just don't believe that it's it's the best use of, of taxpayer dollars. Um, you know, we've, we've their argument is we've done without this for, you know, up to now, what's another year, and implement it in, um, you know, 2020, uh, and it's it's one that I'm just not able to well, you also argue against. Issue. So I, I mean, I don't think it's fair for businesses across the street from each other to have different tax rate. We had that conversation a lot. Plus the plus the, how many people have you heard from, Kevin? I've heard, I've heard from zero. I've heard from probably 10 to 12 of them. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been keeping tally, but probably 10 to 12. But again, I've heard from nobody that says put this on a special election. 
Um, I'd like to speak to it as well. Um, I have not heard from anyone <clears throat> in West Des Moines other than just some brief conversations here or there in the grocery store or various places that you might find folks and whatnot. Um, I believe that, you know, we're placing it on the ballot for the citizens of West Des Moines to really make their decision. I think they made it last time it was up. Uh, but, you know, the contiguous county situation uh, prevented it from going through. We have part of West Des Moines that already passed it. And so some of our residents are under that and some are not. I think timing of where the budget lies and how we prepare and be proactive about how we allocate um, our dollars with the budget, timing seems like this might be best as well. So I'm all for what the West Des Moines citizens decide. I guess they get to decide that. <clears throat> they get to decide whether or not this is where they want um, the additional uh, revenue to go in terms of what they want to support for public safety or the library or quality of life initiative. So um, I'm all for open access to the city of West Des Moines residents wanting to make their decision and uh, let their voices be heard. But anyway, with that being said, though, um, that was one point that one of the audience brought up, I believe it was uh, two weeks ago, was that on a general election, everybody knows that there's an election coming up in November. I've run in enough runoff elections for city council to know that people don't show up for special elections. And that's their point that I've heard from these 10 or 12 people is they don't show up. And I know it passed in West Des Moines, but it was by a very slim margin. And it was, was it 1% of the people, I think it was, that voted, that typically can vote in West Des Moines, that even voted in, in March. And so that's their position, is that, absolutely, but again, Renee, it was, it was such a small number of people that voted. So if you want true representation, and that's what the people are telling me, if you want true representation of West Des Moines, that's why they say do it in November when everybody knows that's when the election is. They just when it's a special election, and I, like I said, I've run into that with the with runoff elections in city council. The number of people that voted in November won't come to vote in December, and so that, that's their. Yeah, position. Kevin. I think the problem with that argument, if you take that argument to the logical end, then we should have all our elections on U.S. presidential election days because that's when the highest turnout is. And I think all of us that are involved in local government are disappointed by turnout that we have in our elections, because um, in my opinion, this is where people can actually have the most, you know, voice and how their daily lives are affected, and yet our turnout's so low. But I'm not sure we should be, um, you know, changing around our strategy just because, uh, you know, people choose not to vote. Again, if, if, if that was the only consideration, then we should just have one election every four years on the same day as the U.S. presidential election. Yeah, and I think if I remember right, the last two city council elections, the the the, the total vote number of vote, registered voters voting in West Des Moines during those elections was nine percent. So the, the turnout, as John mentions, unfortunately in this community is very low during general elections, and it's even lower in special yeah. elections. So, all right. I think, it, I think it's incumbent that we, uh, and I think the media is doing a pretty good job of getting the word out about these special elections, not just uh, not just for us. I mean, I think it's happening in Des Moines, if I'm right, and uh, where else is it happening? I mean, Your Honor. <coughs> Altoona, Pleasant Hill, Windsor, Windsor Heights. Heights. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that it's incumbent that, you know, the message is out there and, you know, if people are really concerned, people are going to come out and vote their, 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 their voice. And so um, I just yeah. think just making sure that everyone knows, and the media is certainly helping us with that. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping that people that have a vested interest one way or another will have an opportunity to vote it down or to vote it up. Okay, so Ryan, we just need a majority of the present. Well, it's a resolution, so we need three votes. Right, you need a so if we only have the council. You need three votes. Yeah. So if we only have three members present, we need all three to vote yes for the resolution to be adopted. Okay. So if it doesn't pass today, it doesn't go on the agenda in March? No, it doesn't uh, well, we've ahead. already set the wheels in motion with the county. So I don't know at this point. I mean, this is kind of a, but, but you well, have we'd have, have to have a conversation with them. You need a formal submission by the council approval. So this is what this is well, for. You want to see if I can get Jim or Russ online?
So I believe the county has already published the notice of the election, or at least sent it to the paper due to the holiday. Given the short timelines, they they prepared it. It's right. obviously not so, uh, official until it's approved by the council. Hey, Jim. Hey, we need your vote because Kevin wants to vote against this resolution. We need three votes. Does he have the, does Jim have the call in number, Ryan? He should, yeah, it was emailed I mean, to him. We've, we've dealt with this multiple, multiple times. This dealt issue. With what? On what we're going to do when we're going to do it. I mean, this is not a new issue as far as the language and what we're going to do. Right, yeah. That's why we brought it to the December 10th meeting for discussion. Um, that was the opportunity to make any changes. Do you want? Open it up When, Ryan, when did we start collecting the extra one cent sales tax in Dallas County? July 1st of last year? You know that, Jamie? July 1st of 2017. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, and I think we did the March 2017 vote in Polk County to try to make it effective if it passed at the same time that Dallas County went into effect, July 1 of 17. <clears throat> yeah. So if it, if, it, if it gets voted in, in, in a March election, I mean, obviously it's not the next week that the businesses start charging that. So there's got to be, I would assume it's July 1 that I, they start I, collecting I, it. Isn't it Is July 1st? Okay. I'm just telling us 
switch this on as a cell phone. Having a hard time with the call in number. Yeah, we'll take roll again when we hear from Jim. Yeah. It's Jim. Jim. All right. I so we'll, we'll take morning, roll. Yeah. 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 Well, we, yeah, go ahead then, uh, Ryan, and yeah. retake roll if you would. All right. Hardman. Present. Trevelyan. Here. Michelson. Present. Sandager. Here. Okay. So we have four present <clears throat> now. All right, uh, Jim, it's uh, Steve. Uh, the, the motion, the resolution is submitting the question of the imposition of a local option sales tax and service tax and revenue allocation statement. It's identical to what, uh, as what uh, was discussed at the uh, December 26, 2018 City Council meeting. So there's been no changes to that resolution. I was just getting ready to ask for a, a roll call vote on approving that. Are there any additional comments or questions you want to make about this before I ask for a vote? No. Okay. Ryan, you want to take, uh, why don't you take roll? Sure. Or vote? Uh, Hardman. Yes. Yes. Pavilion? No. Michelson? Aye. And Sandager? Yes. That's three yes, one no. Resolution's adopted. Okay. Um, item four is receive and file the special meeting uh, notice. And with that, we're adjourned. All right. Thank you.